Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session. We're on iPad, one of my favorite platforms for engagement with teachers, students, and of course, family members. Uh, Padlet could be used for so many wonderful things. And today we're going to use it for a Moodle course called WebQuest. So first thing I'm going to do, as you can see over here, is go into Make a Padlet. You need to get an account uh, in order to start this. It's completely free, but you only get three. But that's great. You can always delete and start all over with a new one. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a Padlet. Now notice my options here on the right. I can get a wall and then if I click on wall, I'll get the various kinds of walls. Or I can have a wall with sections. And since I'm doing the web quest, I would like to have sections. By the way, you can create a web quest using Padlet. Let me click on it and get started. So I click on wall with sections. In case you missed that, it's right over here. Wall with sections. So you can see that. Click on it and here goes. And notice what's happening here. All right. So first of all, I can give it a name or it's going to be called my swanky padlet. So let's give it a name. I'm going to call it the web quest. Because what we're going to do here is we're going to get teachers to collaborate on their web quests. So I can add a description now or later. But I'm going to add it now and it's going to be please add your input to the right column. And let's see what these are. You can always change. You can have an icon or no icon. You can also have a wallpaper. Notice what it's here right now. So I'm under settings in case you missed that. So we're looking at settings over here and I can have an icon or no icon. There's the title. There's the description. And now for the wallpaper, I can also have light or dark. Notice my options here. Group posts by section. That's correct. I'm going to change the wall. Notice these are the various walls that I can choose from, but I can also choose a custom wall which is what I'm going to do since I have a paid version. So notice the custom. These are some of the walls if you like them. Or you can scroll down and get your own. So notice here you can upload. You can use your camera. You can draw one or you can link or just search for uh, whatever you wish. If you go into search, notice what your options are. You write the name. No, this is not AI but you write the name. So what would you like? I would like to have blocks since a uh, web quest is about blocks. So let me uh, search for that and see what I get. So I get these blocks. Uh, web quest is um, a building blog. You can go also go into Canada and get something there. So let's see if any of these are appealing as background. Okay, so you can do this and think about it as you go and see if there's a wall that appeals to you. Remember, there'll be writing on the blog, so we don't want it to stand out too much, but we also want it to look like blocks. And uh, notice there are quite a few blocks here, which makes it really, really convenient. If you're looking for something special, you could probably find it if you keep searching. And that's the thing, I think, to keep searching. Don't give up until you get the kind of background that you're looking for. And since um, web quests are for both young and adult learners, notice it just goes on and on and on. You might want to have both in mind since uh, that's what the course is about. It's about creating web quests for 
learners of every age. And uh, okay, so those are blocks. What about if I add the word WebQuest? What will I get? Probably not much, but who knows? Let's try it. So notice I do get something for WebQuest. Oh, I even get my own. Oh, my, maybe I should use mine. Hmm. I think I'll just use mine. Yeah, why not? Okay, so this is mine, but I don't know if it, it didn't come out too good. I guess I would need the original, which is my own. So let me get mine. I'm going to go into upload down here. Let me show you that. So after looking, you just may find that yours is probably the best. But as I said, I think Canva is a great place. Uh, there we go for the upload to get your images, but then you can use ChatGPT and so many different sources today for images. So let's go into my computer. There's mine. I think it looks a bit better. Then don't forget to save, or it's not going to save. So there at the top right, there's the pink save button. Click on the pink save button, and then you should have it. Let's see if there's anything else I'd like to do here. I think that's fine for now. Author and stamp. Display author name and timestamp above each post. Yeah, I'd like that. Allow comments um, and require approval. No filter profile. I always put that. And then there's the URL that I'll be sharing. Okay, that's for later. So that's the heading. Notice uh, you've got a few options here in the settings. There's appearance. There's layout, which we have already, posting, content, advanced, and so on. So we're fine with this. It should have been saved. Let's go back here. And there it is. Padlet has also made some changes. I'm using Safari. It'll look, no, I'm using Chrome actually right now. It'll look different on Safari and um, maybe on other LMSs web browsers not lmss all right so here i can share it notice they've changed they they now have icons which is nice uh, let's see we want to uh there i clicked on the three dots you know you need to kind of be ready for changes that programmers make to their products so be ready all right so the three dots are back to this details share remake uh, slideshow, change format. No, I think everything is just fine. Uh, let me go back into share. Now under share, notice what's available here. Uh, add members, no secret. Visitors can write. Uh, if you change the privacy, you've got all these options. Public at the whole world. See the Padlet. And you can add visitor permissions. In this case, Look at the difference, can read, can edit, can view, and add posts, edit, and approve others' posts, can view, and add posts, cannot edit and approve others' posts, but they can write, and that's the main thing. Uh, logged in visitors only, yes, I prefer that. Let them have accounts, but make sure that uh, you save it so that everybody knows who's doing what. So there we are. I think we've got it. Yay! So just remember to save, as I said, if there's a save. If there isn't, then it's saved. You can also have password protected. Okay, I think we're good to go. We just need to, visitors will need to log in to view this Padlet. I would like them to be able to view it, but perhaps um, not right. But I'm going to leave that. Notice different ways of sharing. You can get a QR code um, and... You can copy the link to the clipboard. All right. Now, I don't see the columns, so I am going to go to back to settings. Settings is here. And then to the um, template. Okay, that's appearance. Uh, that's the layout it's group post by section let's go into the layout again group post by sections but they need to have the sections 
and I don't see the sections. All right, so here we are. Here are the sections. Hard to see because of the background, <laughs> but okay. Please add your input to the right of the column. Now I need to add the section. So the first section is going to be, let me create it. I'm going to add, okay, you click on it and then you add to it. So I'm going to call this first section is topic. Okay, that's actually it's the topic of the web quest. Well, we can add that in the description. Okay, topic of the web quest. That's section one. Let's rename the section here and we'll call it topic of web quest. Okay, to make it clear, we'll leave it like that. Topic of web quest. Okay. All right. So next, uh, people will write their topics. Let me delete my post. That'll be their work. But you see, it's hard to see this uh, because of the background. So I think that I'm going to change the background. Let me go back into appearance, the wallpaper here, and change it to uh, something different. Okay. Notice you've got different backgrounds here something that's custom not as something light perhaps this would be nice no or this or this no it comes out different you see the colors don't look the same as oh we'll just make it white but white doesn't even look like white does it so maybe like that or maybe what we had at the beginning no, I want something really light, but it doesn't come out light. Everything comes out slightly different, which is unfortunate. So even the white doesn't come out white, but you know what? Let's keep it white. I think that's the best way to go. All right, so we're going to be with white. Topic web quest, and then we'll add another section. This time we'll call it uh, hosting hosting where will you host it okay so hosting topic and then hosting next we're going to have the introduction introduction update that and then after the introduction we'll have the task that's the web quest and the blocks task and then we'll have the process which are the instructions and then after the instructions notice we're going to have to move the scroll bar there we'll have the resources which are the links including links I'm not going to write that resource I think that's obvious resources and then after resources, we'll have the conclusion. Conclusion. And then we'll have credits, because I think credits is important. So we'll, the last section will be teacher's page with credits. So we'll just add credits. And that's it. Okay, so... Uh, Let's go back here to um, see if we can move this. No. Let's go back to hosting. With the hosting, I want to make sure that um, it's clear that the hosting, let's edit this. Okay. Rename section. Let's add. Um, link to webquest okay that'll be there all right even if there's nothing there now um, 
Okay, so we've got everything now. Topic of web quest, introduction, and so on. So now it's ready to be used and collaborated on with the participants. All right, so what I'm going to do now is share. So let me um, get the link. Now notice here I can get a QR code. I think the best bet is QR codes. They're really useful. So there. Scan using the app on your phone or tablet. So it's limited to the phone and that could be problematic, but maybe they should use their phone. So I'll do both. I'll uh, save image as okay, the web quest uh, on Padlet. All right, so I'll save that. But in addition, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to get something else. I'm going to get a, um, I'm going to share it with an embed. Okay, so there are two kinds of embeds or just paste it. Of course, I'm going to embed this one, just copy it in case you missed that. I'm going to copy it and add it to the course so they're going to copy that one copy it it's an iframe then i'm going to go into the course which is right here going to turn editing on since i'm the teacher going to uh, scroll down and i'm going to add this to week one okay under let's go into activity or resource so we're going to add an activity or resource so that we can add it. And then we're going to go into resources and choose a page. Click on it and then it opens up. Going to uh, add it here we're going to call it padlet collaboration on padlet collaboration on padlet and then we're going to open this up go into the html add code there we are and then we're going to display description well actually we're not going to display description and we're not going to add this here we are going to add it here where it's required in the page content so open that up go into the html paste it and then um, we're going to take a look at the apparent display page description we don't need activity completion we do not want to content change notification we're going to add that and then save and return to cor course but i see that there we go now it's going through and then it's going to be at the very bottom we're going to move it up so let's scroll down there there's collaboration on a padlet let's open it up and then we get the web quests but you need to be logged in okay so uh, we're going to go back here into settings and i'm going to make it description so that they do see this or is they're going to have to click on it they'll be able to get it from both all right so if you're interested in learning more about moodle let me know so this is the process of what i've been doing there we are and then we're going to save it. We're not going to send content change anymore because we've already ensured that they'll get notified if they set their settings to notified. I'm going to stop the edit mode, go into the switch role so we see what they will see to make sure that it's what we want them to see. We're going to go into the web quester, which are the participants and then uh, let me just scroll down oh we want to bring it up don't we yes 
So there it is, and we do want to bring it up so that they can view it higher up. Turn editing on, and then we're going to move it up to, here we are, we'll just wait a few seconds. Notice the image is not there because it's white. That's the reason. There it's coming up with the edits. It's slow right now because I'm screen sharing. That happens sometimes. So notice it's white and that's all they see. And here it is. I've added, I've moved it up just um, below the introductions. And I've also changed the background so that it looks a lot more appealing. Hope you like it and looking forward to your input. If you haven't joined WebQuest for inquiry-based learning, you're invited to do so right now. You've got plenty of time in the month of April to get things done. And if you need more time, that's fine as well. We're looking forward to doing all we can to help you with your WebQuest. So bye for now.